Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Recently, SmartSound upgraded SonicFire Pro to version 5.8, which makes it a whole lot easier to access the thousands of music clips that are available on the SmartSound music servers. If you haven't yet purchased SonicFire, the retail price is $99. If you already own either SonicFire Pro version 4 or version 5, the upgrade price is $29.95. Whether you upgrade or purchase new, you also get a free album called Core Evolutions. It's brand new, and it's now a part of both the purchase and upgrade packages. In fact, with the upgrade, you spend the price of a song, you get an entire whole new album. The key new benefit is much faster and more convenient access to the thousands of music clips that are stored on the smart sound servers. Now, for long-time users of SonicFire, the process of purchasing and downloading music has been greatly simplified. In fact, this latest version integrates your SmartSound web account directly into SonicFire, which makes adding new music fast and easy because you never need to leave the application. To log in is easy. You simply click the Log In button, see where it says Log In, fill in your login credentials, click Log In. It says, hey, I know who you are, click Close, and it's now got me connected to the world of music that's stored inside SonicFire Pro. Notice over here, the blue icon means the music is installed locally on my system. This not only means faster previews, it also means that we can start building custom soundtracks immediately. Gray means that I know the music exists, but I have not yet installed it. Now, this could be because I haven't purchased it or because I've purchased it and yet have not downloaded it. I'll show you both in this training. Notice this red box here. That indicates that I've added this piece of music to my purchase cart. So it says you're planning to buy it, but you haven't bought it yet. Notice that some of these are single lines and some of these are multiple lines. A multiple line, let's see if I can find a single line, right there. Strive for more. That means that it's just a stereo pair. The multiple lines means that it is a multi-track piece of music, which means you can control the actual mix itself. Well, we've talked about that in other tutorials. So I want to talk about how we can quickly add music within the new version 5.8 of Sonic Fire Pro. Let's do a quick preview. I've selected the category called Alternative Rock, and let's try O Direct Line. Click it. Now, because this is not blue, it's stored on the servers. It's got to download that information. Takes a few seconds to get it downloaded, and then I can preview it by clicking the Preview button over here. And in general, it gives me access to a 20-second snippet of music, and I can decide, yeah, that's the style that I like. In fact, that is the style that I like. In fact, I've purchased this album called Indie Band 02, but I haven't yet downloaded all the music. So I'm going to just select Direct Line, click Add to Cart, and it says, do you want to buy the single or the album? Now, single prices vary. They're $49.95 if it's a multi-layer. That's meaning all the individual tracks. Or if it's a single layer, it's $39.95. Or you can buy the entire album for $99.95, and it gives you access to 10 tracks. And you don't even have to download the tracks today. You can just download the piece of music that you want. So I'm going to add this single. All right, you can now purchase the single. Well, notice up here, I've purchased a five-pack because, frankly, I like saving money. So because I've already purchased five singles, if I click the Apply button, it makes the price free. And now when I go to Checkout, it says, all right, there's my information. And you can say, add this from my address book. It says it knows who I am. Add your email address. Type it a second time. And click Continue. Well, I can do that. I'm going to type my email address. I'm very fast, but totally inaccurate and click Continue. It says you've already paid for it. Place your order. Click on it. Now it says you want to download and install this purchase now? Yes, because I want to play this music. And it goes through a download process. It downloads the file, and I'm able to access it. You and I have both watched Download Thermometers Enough. I'm not going to show you how long it takes to download, totally dependent upon your internet speed. I'll be back when the download is complete. 
Once the download is complete, it now needs to decompress the file and get it installed on your system and make sure all the different tracks are installed, which takes a little bit more time. So I'll be back when that part's done as well. And all the downloads are complete. It's updating the library and making sure that everybody knows what's going on. And after essentially about a minute or so, the download, the installation, everything is finished. And we're done. And I can close this window. Notice that Direct Line now has a blue icon. That means it's installed on my system. You only have to do this download once. And after that, once it's installed, you can access it as many times as you want. By the way, if you haven't checked out some of the new features inside Sonic Fire, look at this. I'm going to go to a ballad. Inside the ballad, I'm going to go to a million miles. Wait a couple seconds for the preview to build. Click the preview button. A million miles from your heart. Now, wait a minute. There's lyrics there. They're singing. This is a new feature. You, you don't have to simply buy instrumental music. And if you go up to the lyrics button, Isn't that cool? Not only can you get access to music with lyrics, but you can see what the lyrics are. Ah, I digress. Let's go back to Alt Rock and let's try one more. Let's do um, Bring It Home. There we go. Build a preview. While the preview's building, we'll switch back to the info window and we'll go listen to it. Ah, it's brilliant, breathtaking. Add it to cart. It says, I already own this. Well, this is really useful because even if I've erased a file from my system, but I've already purchased it, I can download it at any time by say, yeah, bring it down. It says, you want to download and install? Done. The key point here is it is easy to preview music by just clicking on it. It's easy to buy music by clicking the Add to Cart button. And if you've purchased music, it's tracked on the Smart Sound server, so if you ever lose it by some mistake and you need to bring it back again, Smart Sound already knows that you own it and makes it really, really easy to bring it back into your system. And it's installed. Let's close this again. And notice that now Bring It Home is installed on my system, the same way that Direct Line is installed on my system. Now, let's say that you're brand new to online credit card transactions. I think there's still two people that have not yet purchased from something online. So I want to buy something. So I'll click Don't Give Up, Build to Preview, and Preview It. All right. It's got sort of a, an up-tempo, alternative rock kind of in-your-face energy. I've decided I want to buy it. Click on Add to Cart. And here, I'm going to buy the single. So I say Add. Now, do I want to buy five singles and save some money? Or ten singles? I, basically, what I'm doing, by paying in advance, I can pay for whatever amount of music I want to use and save up to 70% of buying each individual song. I'm going to buy just the single. And I, here it is. Now, I decide I'm not going to apply any of my credits. I want to uncheck Apply so I can pay the full $49.95 and click Checkout. At this point, I fill in my name, my address, my company. And you can pay with PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or Amex. <laughs> and if you think I'm going to show you my Amex number, well, my children, I've got a bridge in Brooklyn that I can sell you. Once you've entered your address information and your credit card information, you click the Buy button. The download and installation process is exactly the same as what I've just shown you. Smart Sound makes it easy to buy music exactly when you need it, directly from inside Sonic Fire Pro. And now you know how it works. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.